are you, Henry? To get the quest, talk to Lady Stephanie at Talmberg Castle. I heard you wanted to talk to me, my lady. It's true. I need something from you. How can I help? My cousin, young Sophie, is going to be wed. It will be an entry into a new life, and I want everything to be perfect for her. I'm looking for a few things to give her as a gift, and you're going to find them for me. I need you to pick up an ornamental crown from Sasau for Sophie, wine from a merchant in Ratai, and a roan from the stable in Ujits. Wine, a roan, and a crown. I can handle that. Thank you, Henry. The location of wine shop is marked on your map. Henry, I'm glad you came. Lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me Welcome, to... Welcome, Henry. And what would she like? Fine clothes from Venice? Exquisite spices from Arabia? Jewels from Germany? Wine. Good wine. Ah. Ah. Uh. Would beer be enough? As a gift for a noble woman's God wedding? Save you, Henry. No, it definitely wouldn't. Then that's going to be a problem. I gave the last keg of good wine away as a prize for the archery competition tomorrow. Shit. Hey. Well, I suppose I'll Henry just have to find a way to get it. Now you have two options here. One, to win the archery competition and get the wine. And two, get the wine with some other method. Easiest way is to steal the wine before the competition starts. Go to the archery training ground. Now go and collect their own. Location is marked on your map. The lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me. She said you have a roan ready for her. Well, well, Chamberlain Dietrich said someone would come. We have him here, but if he's ready, I can't say. That miserable horse will let you saddle him and walk him around the courtyard, but as soon as someone sits on him, he goes completely wild. That horse is supposed to be presented at a noble woman's wedding. It probably won't be appropriate if he makes a spectacle of his rider. Is there anything I can do? Try asking Vasha. For some reason, that devil horse listens to him. Then take the horse with you. Dietrich's arranged everything. I heard you have a way with the horse that unsaddles everyone else. Yes. I suppose I do. And how do you do it? How do you calm him down? I... I'm good to him. Well, I want to treat the horse well too. But I don't know how, because I don't know him as well as you do. Will you help me? I... sing to him. You sing to him? What? Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May To graze in the shade of the apple tree there The first one is brown 
And the second is grey. Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? That's, uh, interesting. I know how it looks, but he likes it. Thank you, Basha. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Thing. <laughs> You're definitely the first horse I've ever serenaded. Take the roan to Talmba Castle. Now you have to collect the crown. Go and talk to the master at Sasau. His location will be marked on your map. The lady of Talmberg sent me. She wants me to find out why the crown's been delayed. Uh, through no fault of ours, I can tell you that. We had a large stone ordered for mounting on the crown, a beautiful Moldavite from South Bohemia that we had cut and polished in Prague. But, well, in short, the good merchant, Martin Wiesek, who was supposed to bring it from Prague, got lost along the way. It's like the ground swallowed him up. Lady Stephanie won't be happy. Uh, look, we've got something else here we can replace the stone with, but I'm sure even you can see it's not worthy of a noble wedding. And definitely not worthy of our fine craftsmanship. Oh, if I only had someone who'd try to find the Moldavite. Uh, why don't you just ask me? Of course I'll try to find the stone. Just tell me where the fellow was seen last. Well, that fellow, as you call him, the esteemed merchant, Martin Wiesek, was last seen riding alongside the Sassau River, passing by the footbridge over the ford, to the west of here. Evidently, he never made it to Sassau town. Hmm. Well, I'll look for him, but he could be far over the mountains by now. Or under the ground. I could do with a bite to eat. Now you have to go and find the stone. The location will be marked on your map. At the marked location, you will find a damaged cart and you can see a blood track leading inside forest. Following the blood track will lead you to two bandits camping in the forest. You can either go now and fight them to take the stone or you can wait till the night when they are asleep. I will wait till 12 at night to take the stone from bandits. Now I will go to the bandit camp. Knock down this bandit. And take the key to the trunk from him. Open the trunk and take the stone. Now go back to the master at Sasau and give him the stone. About that Moldavite we discussed. Anyway, let me see the stone, if you would be so kind. Of course. Here it is. Excellent. It looks undamaged. I'll get straight to work. You can come for the finished crown tomorrow evening. Come back next day to collect the crown. What about the crown? Is it finished? I'm a man of my word. Of course it's finished. Here you have it. Thank the Lord you found that Moldavite. It wouldn't be the same without it. After you have the three items, go back to Lady Stephanie. What can I do for you, my lady? Nothing. You've done enough. 
And now I'd like to reward you. That's not necessary, my lady. You taking the time to see me is reward enough. Come now, Henry. No need for such modesty. I appreciate everything you've done for me, as well as your company. And there's something I'd like to give you. This shirt was my father's. He was built very much like you. Broad shoulders, strong chest. It should fit you just right. But, but I can't accept this. It's too valuable. It's too valuable to be left to the mercy of moths. It doesn't fit my husband well, and I've no one else to give it to. What's more, if you were to leave us again, I'd like you to have something to remember me by, so you don't forget me. I could never forget you, my lady. Well then, won't you try it on at least? What? Right now? Why not? Don't worry, I won't look. I'll turn my back. And what if your husband comes in? He won't. Neither will anyone else. All right then. I feel truly blessed to have you here. So long I yearned for young company. I really feel God heard my prayers and sent you to me. Are ready? Ah, you do look handsome, as fine as any gentleman. When I was a little girl, there were always lots of other children around and young men and women of the court. It was so merry. I always hoped it would be like that when I was grown up too. But it was not God's plan. You and Sir Divish had no children? No. No, alas, we, we were not blessed. Twice I was with child, but they did not live. And now I fear there's no hope for me. My lady. Forgive me, my lady. I, I shouldn't have. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> 